In today's session, we will deal how to attack S parameter problems. There are two types of S parameter problems, first of all. And the first type of problem is that wherein you will be given a network and you will be asked to compute the S parameter of this given network. That's the first type of problem. And the second type of problem is wherein we will be have to, I mean, we will be having a, a S matrix and we will be asked to analyze the S matrix and find out the characteristics of the S matrix. So we'll deal the second type of the problem in the next class. In today's class, we will deal the first type of problem. In the first type of problem, we have a given network and we are going to compute the S parameters of this given network. So for that to do to be done, I, if you can recall our ABCD network, whenever you have networks connected in cascade, the best type of parameter that we can go for is ABCD network. So the best type of methodology that we can use to do solve such problems is solve the problem using ABCD parameters and using this formula convert the formula I mean convert the ABCD matrix into a S matrix. That is the best methodology that we can solve. So let's uh, write down the ABCD. ABCD matrix of this particular uh, network. So this fellow is connected in series. So if you can recall your ABCD matrix, if uh, net, if you have the element connected in series, we would write it like this. It looks like this 1, 1, R, 0. And if you have a, this is for a series element and for a element that's in shunt, you have 1, 0, 1 over R and 1. This is the ABCD matrix of a element that is connected in series and that, that is connected in shunt. Now, if you write the ABCD matrix of this fellow, this fellow is in series, so I'll have 1, 8.56, 0, 1, and this fellow is in shunt, so I'll have 1, 0, 1 over 141.80. And the third element will be, this is in series again, so I'll have 1, 8.56, 0, 1. So if you multiply this, you will get the ABCD matrix of this whole network. So multiply this, what is the ABCD matrix? What is the ABCD matrix of this whole network? 1.060 So this is the ABCD matrix of this network. Now the next step will be to convert this ABCD matrix into the S matrix. So you have this will be A, this will be B, this is C and D. Now you have this formula to convert the ABCD matrix into the S matrix. So it's pretty straightforward. So given this formula, we will be converting this into a S matrix. Let's write down the S matrix of this network. So the S matrix of this network, when you substitute the values of A, B, C, and D in this network, you will get S11 to be, what is S11? 0 0.209, sorry, 0. It will be 0 0.707. And uh, S12 will be 0, S21 will be 0, and this should be, I'm sorry, yeah, this should be 0 0.707, correct? S11 is 0. S11 is? 0. S12 is 0. S12 is 0. Correct. S11 is 0. Okay, S11 is 0, and what is S12? 0. 0.707. 0. 0.707, okay. So, so this means S11 is 0, S12 is 0. 0.707. S1, S21 is 0. 0.707. 0.707 and S22 is also 0.707. So this is the, uh, I'm sorry, this is 0.707, this is 0, right? All right. And what is Z0? Uh, Z0 is very important. So Z0 of this fellow will be Z0 is nothing but your characteristic impedance, 50 ohms. Z0 is your characteristic impedance, 50 ohms. So if you substitute your values of A, B, C, and D, and Z0 to be 50 ohms, you will find that the network is perfectly matched, so your diagonal elements will go to 0, and S12 and S21 will be 0 0.707. So this is the first type of problem that we'll be solving. I'll repeat the steps again. The first step is, you know, to write down the ABCD matrix of this particular network. So we compute that by using this formula. You know, we have solved ABCD of a series 
element is 1 or 0, 1, and that of a shunt element is 1, 0, 1 over R and 1. So if you solve for this is 8, you substitute the values 8.56, 1 over 141.8, because this is shunt element again, for this fellow it's a series element, so it is 8.56. So you compute the ABCD matrix, and then you substitute the values of A, B, C, and D in the in the in this equation to get out s11 s12 s21 and s22 and for z0 you will be substituting the value 50 ohms